Feeling cute, I think it's time to suit up and do the dirty job. I'll be honest, it doesn't smell very good where I'm sitting. And uh, once I cut into that carcass, it's gonna get much, much worse. So I brought along some earplugs. May look ridiculous, but it's worth it. Feeling cute, might go cut up a walrus, I don't know. This may seem like overkill, but anything that gets rotten walrus on it will not be allowed back into my house. All right, I have never dissected a walrus before. You gotta find the joints. If you try to just smash through these bones, it'll just destroy your ax. Oh, that was bad. That was the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. My ax is brand new sharp, and I'm barely making a scratch. I'm gonna need to kind of try to cut away this really, really thick skin and blubber so I can see the joints and know where to cut from there. It took me 15 swings of the ax just to pierce the hide a little bit. And I've got to do it all the way around. Well, I got through the skin and now I'm just trying to figure out where the walrus's neck is. They're just kind of a giant fat tube and where the head ends and the body begins is, is not exactly obvious. So I'm having to cut away pieces and kind of search around and it's, uh, it's a lot of work. I nicked my glove. Got to make sure my finger's okay. A little tiny, tiny, tiny cut, but I'm not sure if he even went all the way through the skin. But I'm gonna go put a bandaid on that real quick and wash it off. It's really common for walruses to have trichinosis, and I don't want to catch any weird diseases. Well, I spent about an hour cutting, hacking, and sawing, and I got the head off. I need to sit down with the knife and cut off as many bits of flesh as I can to lighten the load, because I gotta carry that thing four miles. And I don't care how ridiculous these nose plugs look, they're an absolute lifesaver. Oh, my GoPro is never gonna smell the same again. Well, there we go. That only took four hours. I absolutely destroyed my fillet knife. And this shirt. These pants might need to burn as well. Really glad I got that Tyvek suit. I just should have gotten two of them. Oh, the head weighed about 90 pounds with the skin on. I removed about 40 pounds of meat and skin. Still pretty heavy, but it's gonna be a lot more reasonable. This whole time I keep looking over my shoulder waiting for a bear to come walking down this beach. I'm just gonna be so glad when I'm heading back to camp. That is noticeably heavier. But now that I've got my walrus head, I've got to hold on to it. You know, I'm dragging 50 pounds of bear bait behind me. I guess I'm technically trolling for bears at this point.